Well, it's a combination that Jesus is speaking about. And often when he makes these statements, the first thing to do is not to try and kind of work out from serpents and work out from doves, but to think of that in terms of Jesus. So how was Jesus wise on the one hand, and how on the other hand was, did he have this gentleness in him? And when we look at Jesus, I think we begin to understand that as, as Luke says at the end of Luke chapter 2, um, from his early days, because of his reflection on Scripture, he grew in wisdom. Um, I sometimes say, especially uh, for those of us who, who don't have a lot of wisdom, that the Bible has a book that gives you wisdom before you've had time to get it, namely the book of Proverbs that tells you, how do you take the principles of God's Word and apply them in a world like this? And the great example of that is our Lord Jesus. Um, and it would take more than 45 seconds to roll out the illustrations of that. And yet at the same time, what we see in Jesus, especially what he says about himself, come to me, you who labor and are heavy laden, because I am meek and gentle in spirit, that we see there what it means for us to have that uh, dove-like gentleness. So in a way we could say, well, let's think about serpents and let's think about doves. But the simplest way to get at what Jesus is saying is to look at the way in which he illustrated and exhibited both of these qualities, wisdom and gentleness. That answer was recorded live during a special Ask Ligonier event. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next live event.